Hey, audio check, quick check. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone's doing well today. Um, doing more Stardew Valley today, I'm very tired. Um, I did not sleep well last night. <laughs> Boy, the hair is up, like, I don't want to deal with her today. Um, but I wanted just, like, something chill, something low vibes, you know, so we're doing Stardew today as usual. On Tuesday, it's Tuesday! <laughs> Okay, so we're heading into our final week of summer. So kind of like last week, just making sure we have enough supplies ready for fall, enough money for fall to buy seeds. Hopefully our apple tree should be fully grown at this point. Because I think the apple trees, or rather apples, were the only thing we really needed for the comm center. Hey, thank you for the alert, Katie. I appreciate it. I'm really tired today, so it's gonna be chilled day. Like, we're not gonna be yelling at Mario Kart, so enjoy your lurk, man. Oh, fuck it, I wanna eat it. Frick! Oh, I used one of my F words today. Oh no. <laughs> Hasn't even been five minutes. Oh my goodness, last night, like. I don't know what was on, because I've listened to um, The Weeknd's new album, like, at least 20 times at this point, because it came out two, 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 10 days ago, and a lot of his most recent albums are about, like, love, or rather, loss of love, and, like, his most recent and his second most recent album 
that there's like a greater focus on like background music and like the actual music production aspect of it. Um, so like it's like songs you can like like bop to and like dance to, but like the lyrics didn't hit. <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, I, I don't usually sit down and listen to music, like, I'll just have it on the background. But, like, I sat down and actually listened to the album properly for the first time, and I just started crying. Because <laughs> a lot of the songs were about, like, heartbreak or loss of love, and, oh my god, it was bad. My headsets, I just got them, they're waterproof. That's all I could say. I have proven that they can withstand water <laughs> and still work fine. But, my god. Anyway. Oh, I gotta check our weekly freaking mission. I always forget. Oh, no. Into town we go. <clears throat> oh, this weekend wasn't like crazy. It wasn't a movie, but oh my god. Um, my dad's car got totaled. My friends know already because I talked to my friends about shit. But it got hit by a tow truck. It's like, our car was parked out on the street, and we're on a corner, so su we're surprised that it hasn't gotten hit yet, but like, the tow truck driver hit the car, we heard and saw the guy hit our car, but the tow truck driver just kept going, so we're like, what the frick, like, why is he still, like, driving away? So, like, at that point, all the neighbors had, like, gone outside the house to, like, see what happened, right? And a couple of our neighbors, like, chased the truck down and, like, had him make sure he'd like come back and talk to us. Um, which mission should we do? Mm, I kind of want to do the ghost one because we gotta go mining anyway, and I think we've done the hard one, hardwood one already. <clears throat> anyway, so like the guy comes back, parks his tow truck, we talk it out, and it's fine. Like thankfully, no one was hurt. Like, the tow truck driver said he didn't even feel that he hit our car, which is, like, kind of insane to think about. Like, he couldn't even hear, like, the loud, like, crunch of my dad's car being crushed. <laughs> but anyway, it was fine. <laughs> Everything's okay. Um, thankfully, my dad has another vehicle, but with his work, he has to, like, lug, like, big LS printers and, like, stacks of paper to, like, different offices and stuff. So now he can't really do that because he has a smaller car, but it's a two, it's a single passenger car. So he can't really like take the big ass boxes in it. So he can't be delivering equipment for probably two to three weeks now, which sucks. Like he's going to lose a couple thousand bucks off of that. So he's working with, he's trying to work it out with the jurors to get it all figured out. Thankfully, I don't have to deal with any of that shit. <laughs> so... That's why, like, if I don't have to, like, leave the house for, like, work or do errands, or, like, if I go with someone else to do errands, like, I have no need, like, no need to have a vehicle. So let's just say I'm glad I don't have to deal with that stress, because honestly, don't think I could handle it. <laughs> anyway, so that was my weekend. <laughs> that was everyone else's. <laughs> Yeah, that was, I think, Sunday. Yeah, it wasn't- yeah, it had to be Sunday, because it wasn't yesterday. <clears throat> okay, nothing's in there. If we do look at our title, the thing I'm clickbaiting, quote-unquote, is... My name, the YouTube video that's out. It came out last Saturday? Yeah, on Saturday. Because it's a highlight slash video essay kind of thing from Thursday stream which was a challenge run of Mario Kart and it was a uh, I think a two hour 30 minute VOD and then I because like my target was trying to edit it into a 10 to 15 minute video the like the tone and the initial like setup of the video is very reminiscent of like a Ludwig or a small ant video in terms of like the like the overall like I guess editing of the video, like format wise. And when I was like thinking of the concept for that stream, I had an idea 
of how I wanted to, like the final edit to be. But even then, it took me because I worked on it from like I think eleven in the morning till about like six in the afternoon. I mean, off and on, of course. Like I wasn't sitting there editing for <laughs> six hours straight, but it was maybe three to four hours of like cumulative, like actual sitting at the, at the computer and editing. And honestly, it was really fun. But I think that's like the largest project I've edited down. <clears throat> and like just thinking of a script, writing it out, recording the voiceover. Katie did say I sounded nervous <laughs> in the voiceover part, so rip. <laughs> um, but it was still really fun. Like not to say that I've discovered my passion, but like I honestly could see myself pursuing editing because I think the most satisfying part is like finding like the good moments of the VOD and compiling all together and making it flow in a way that's digestible I guess. But in general it's a really fun process. I did get some critiques on it which was nice which is really good. Um, but I feel like the audio mixing could have been better. So like if you do exclamation vid or exclamation YouTube and chat, it'll link to the channel and then the actual video. So if anybody has time, check it out. Please. <laughs> I want attention, please. <laughs> um, my goal is to beat my sister because she has more subs than me. She, um, she has one video where it's like a one piece meme compilation. And she has 50-something subs, and I'm really jealous, so we need to beat her. <laughs> yeah, so that was basically this week, and nothing too crazy. I mean, besides the car getting totaled, but you know. Man, I- because <laughs> like, I started listening to the album at like 8 p.m. last night. And I had to like pause and like compose myself and then I keep listening and then pause, compose myself. So like I was like just in tears for like two hours straight yesterday. <laughs> um. And then I couldn't really sleep, which sucks. It seems like on the nights where I got a stream the next day, I don't sleep well. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just anxiety question mark? And we don't know. Okay, our weekly mission was to get ectoplasm. And I believe the ghosts start showing up in the ice levels. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> I was trying to dodge everyone. Frick! I suck so bad at the combat, like... Everything else considering the game, I'm fairly- like, I know, like, how to play the game, but combat, I am not good at. Like, any fighting game, I do not excel at. Like, when I play Smash, I just button mash A and B and hope for the best. I know it's kind of frowned upon, like, if your character has a projectile, to just spam that, but honestly, <laughs> that's all I do. Like, in Pokemon Unite, there's different characters, or different character styles, rather. Like, for attackers, there's ranged and then melee. Like, with the melee ones, the range is shit, so you have to, like, get right up next to the other Pokemon and fight, and, like, if I don't have a second player, like, with me, I just wimp out and run away. Like, you can't just button mash, you have to, like, time your attacks. You know, like play the game st strategically, which I can't do. So <laughs> just run away the whole time. You're such a wimp. I finally got okay the rank after expert. I think it's veteran rank. I finally got it over the weekend. I was so happy because I believe great 
the great veteran and then the final rank there's like five tiers to it and i was stuck on great rank for like two weeks like i would get almost right on right on the edge of veteran but then like i'd lose five games and it's like what the freak like come on Oh, oh, I have my cursor on. Since I'm playing since I'm playing on the Switch, like the right joystick is for the cursor. So if you want to select something, I never use it. I know when you play on computer or desktop, you can like click where you want stuff to go. But I've never played that way. Like with the cursor, it's harder for me to visualize, I guess. I also changed my camera angle, so like, I hope it looks fine. It's a bit closer to my face. I would zoom in more on my actual face, but like, I honestly want to get this in frame because I think it's cute. Yeah, we'll see how it goes today, or how it looks rather. Okay, it's 7.40. Yeah, Robin is upgrading her house, so... Cause I don't- I think the only upgrade after the wine cellar is either adding more bedrooms or just rearranging the layout of your house, which we don't really need. Let's be honest. I think the music in the mines is my favorite, or are my favorite tracks in the game. There's a lot more like higher pitch notes. And it's really nice. We have yet to see a ghost, which is kind of concerning, because they're usually out by now. I've started playing Sturdy Valley only on stream, so like once a week, because I'm still so obsessed with Unite that like whenever I start playing at the start of stream, I forget the buttons <laughs> or like where my weapons on. Because with the Pro Controller, you can click the left or right trigger to move through your inventory. So that's why you'll see me like switch to the wrong item. It's not on purpose, mind you. Like I'm not being bad for content. Oh my god, that slime! Do you see him, like, dashing? <laughs> that one actually scared me a little bit. You know ghosties, that's sad. Okay, time to go home. Yeah, I need to buy more feed, but Marnie's not going to be open until probably Wednesday. If even, so we'll have to wait a few days. I mean, we have enough until then, but it's still, like, anxiety-inducing to think that, oh, I might need to starve my animals this week. Which is not fun to think about.
We were up 6k, not too bad. Oh, I didn't check the TV yesterday, huh? So I got new headsets last week. They're the same ones as I had before, but they were like a little busted, so the audio wasn't as good. But like these new ones, I can hear like everything now. The rain. Oh my god, it sounds so nice. <clears throat> Just for earbuds, I try and get myself a new pair every year. One, because like they're probably like busted at that point, or like they're dirty. I think my favorite thing about getting new tech is like one, setting it up and see what, seeing what it can do in terms of setting. And then also, because like every audio device is like a different like manipulation of sound, so it sounds a little bit different. And it's so cool to like just listen to the new mixing. Because I got a new pair of earbuds and then a new pair of like over the head headsets. Because my headsets ones were like, the cushions were all torn up. And I was like, I need new ones. <laughs> and the cord was like, busted, so like, the music would glitch in and out sometimes. I had to pause because there was like a blue J right outside my window. Like just hanging on the power cord. But then it flew away, so that was kind of sad. Okay. I'm gonna say something earlier, but then I forgot. <laughs> I know I've said before to not sad post, because, like, sad posting farms engagement. I think about talk- I think talking about music making you satisfied. Hi Rainy! Yeah, you said for sometimes, and that's fine. I think you were here when I talked about it last, like, it's fine. Because that way- Yeah, I figured. <laughs> but it's not, it's okay to sad post, you know, it's fine to do. Yeah, like, anytime, um, I know when you sad post, like, I'll reach out to you in DMs to make sure you're okay, you know? I think my main takeaway when I talked about sad posting was yes, it's fine to like vent sometimes because like venting is healthy to a capacity but also like of all the people who engage or like reply or like like the post how many people are genuinely going to like reach out in like DMs and make sure you're okay? That's like the one thing I'm, like, scared of if I ever, like, a sad post. But I don't know. Oh, I still have an item. Yeah, that's, like... I like having online friends, but there's always demerits to it. Like... And it sucks because, like, it's not like I can go out and see my friends. Like, last time I saw someone IRL was Katie, and that was a few months ago. But, like, I felt really bad afterwards because... Like, my parents kept guilt tripping me about it. And, like, my mom, or everyone else in the house except for me, went out for Christmas, like, to a holiday party. And then, uh, my mom went out to lunch with two of her friends two days in a row, like, yesterday and the day before. So it's like, why are you gonna give me crap for, like, wanting to see my friends when, like, you go see your friends, like, every weekend? It's like, hmm. That's another topic for another day. I don't want to get too deep into it. Yeah, I think, like, there should always be a message behind, like, such a heavy topic, you know? So I think it's fine. <laughs> because there's a difference between, like, wanting attention and then also, like, bringing awareness to an issue, right? We only got one egg today, Sag. 
Okay, so it's Tuesday, so I think I'm going to go into town and gift people stuff, because I haven't done that in a while. I've just been neglecting my neighbors. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you editing your panels? That's cool, man. I know there- I've heard like mixed opinions about panels. What am I doing? But to me, if I see someone have nothing in their about section, and then nothing in their panels, it's like, how am I supposed to know about you when you're offline, right? I know you can also set up like a link tree. Like I've considered it, but I think I'm gonna hold off for now. Okay. Oh, can I give Robin a gift? There we go. Okay, so let's head into town. Give everybody some pickles. <laughs> I would hate it. If someone gave me pickles, like I'm not a fan. Anything pickled, I usually don't like because I don't like the taste of vinegar. It's a bit too acidic for me. <gasps> Harvey loves the pickles! Okay, noted. I mean, not that we're going for Harvey anyway, it's still noted. Oh, since it's raining, they're not going to do aerobics today, huh? That's unfortunate. You love pickles? I don't. <laughs> Anytime we'd accidentally get a pickle on our burger, we'd all, like, give it to my dad. He's the only one in the house who likes them. Uh, Rainy, since you're here, how does the new camera angle look? Does it look better? Or it's just like the same? I don't know. I, it's a little bit closer to me. Is that like at eye level so it's not as angled? <laughs> Sam does not like pickles. <laughs> Looks better? Okay, cool. I think so too. I feel like the white balance is a little bit better as well. But I'm using the same lighting, so I think the angle contributed to... I don't know. I don't know why it's appearing brighter today. You like that it's closer? Okay, that's what I figured. I would zoom in more, but like... Oh, thank you. Thank you. I try. Um, I would zoom in more, but I think... I don't want it to be right in my face. <clears throat> Okay. Oh my god, get out of my way. Let me give the kid pickles. <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> it's so funny giving people stuff they don't like. Yeah, I don't think we're friends with Robin yet, but we can try. Or Leia, not Robin Rip. <laughs> Oh, I think we can buy, actually buy some feed here since she's open. It's a rare occasion. Ah, I almost got it. 203. It's so nice having money in game. Like, you don't have to worry about being broke all the time. 
Like, imagine being rich and not having to worry about overdrafting your debit card. Imagine. Because in my main save, that I haven't touched in, like, nearly three months at this point, I have, like... I have... I don't know. Let me, let me think. I have, I think, like, five million in that save. So I'm saving up for that scepter. The transport scepter, like, it'll take you anywhere. I think it's also funny how the character just holds the items above their head. Just, like, going like this all day. <laughs> Okay, Krobus likes it. Seems like he likes anything slimy. Ooh, that sound of the thunder. Ooh. <laughs> I hate storms so much not that i'm scared of like the actual weather i'm more sort of scared of the what might happen as a result of the storm like if the power goes out or if traffic lights don't stay on because we have a fat cedar tree in our yard and my dad would always like freak out when we were little about like oh yeah the tree might fall down, we might die. And like, he would say that every single time there was a thunderstorm. And it's like, why are you telling me this, Dad? I'm eight years old, why are you scaring me, Dad? <laughs> Guess no one's home. Yeah, no shot we're getting a friends of Maru. I don't get why Dimitri calls everything specimens. Seems kinda weird. He seems like the psycho killer husband. That's the kind of vibes I get from him. I wish there was a mission to give Linus a house. I know there's a mission where you can buy Pam a house, but like, why can't we buy Linus a house? Like, just make him a little cabin instead of making him stay in a tent. I mean, maybe there is a mission like that that I haven't unlocked yet, but... It'd be nice if we can make Linus a house. Okay. Oh, Willie and Jody. Oh, he missed a handful of people today. Ah, whatever. They're not important. <laughs> yeah, let's get a little bit of mining in for today. Get a little bit of cancer in our lungs. I feel like I have to sit up straighter with this camera angle. <laughs> I mean, I, I have fairly decent posture. But like when I play, like I'll tilt my head downwards. 
I've noticed that whenever I play Mario Kart, like I get too into it and I start like leaning forward and tilting my head down. So I need to like sit up straight. <laughs> Also, when you're in school, like you have like the big ass backpacks, and they weigh you down, so like a lot of kids would be slouched. And like my backpack was heavy, like I was a hoarder, so like I would take everything I would think I would need, even if I didn't really need it, I would bring it to school. Like anytime I sat down, I I like spring back up, because <laughs> like not having the weight of the bag on you had the opposite effect on me for some reason. I was- I can't remember, but I think I had a rolly backpack at some point. I think I had it- Well, I can't remember. I think I either had it in 6th grade or 7th grade. So either last year of elementary or first year of junior high. Because in like junior high and high school, there's a lot more kids in the school. So if you had a rolly backpack, you were instantly denounced instantly like isolated from everyone because if you have a really backpack you're taking up two spaces in the hallway instead of one i mean i also think having a rolly backpack is a power move because you're basically saying like i don't care about anybody else like i'm not going to carry my own shit and also i don't care if i take up more space so i think that's just like Honestly, a power move. <laughs> oh sh shit, it's still a Liam. Oh no, oh no. I also need to process my geodes too at some point. I keep forgetting. tree is grown okay cool so we'll have apples right at the start of fall that's great okay time for bed and yeah, we're speed running only 20 minutes per day that's not too bad Okay, looks like our wine cellar is done. Ooh, okay, nice. So the way I will usually set up my wine cellar is I find it easier to run along in rows and vertical rows rather than horizontal rows. So I'm gonna destroy all these, replace them, probably build some more as well. Build a crate that we can keep extra wine bottles here. That way we don't have to walk across our farm. Okay. Let's go.
Oh, look at all that honey. I've yet to figure out how to grow the big plants. Because I've seen pictures of like how to grow big melons and big pumpkins. But I haven't formally looked up like the walkthrough or like how to's yet. I think I will at some point. Tomatoes, right? Yeah, okay, I did do the tomato mission. <laughs> Backpack low. <laughs> Thank you for clipping, Rainy. You're so cute. <laughs> of course you'd clip like the wholesomest like commentary of it. You're so cute. Uh I was talking about this with Katie yesterday because I was on her stream for a little bit. We were basically doing like hot takes or like just chatting yesterday. And before stream, I was talking about like how I don't want to say anything like too bad. Because just in general, I'm very adamant about certain things. But in return, the way I present myself, I'm very centrist. Mainly because I don't want to upset people, right? Um, what was I gonna say? So I was basically like, I don't want to say anything that people are gonna clip, okay? <laughs> but she's like, the whole point of the stream is to get clipped. I'm like, yeah, but like, I don't want that. <laughs> oh, break, there's no feed here. Uh oh. He said it! Hi, Yana. Hope we're doing well today. Thank you for coming into stream. Um, missed it earlier, but like the title is, I spent five hours on this. I have a new YouTube channel, and then in return, I have a new video out. So you can do exclamation vid or exclamation YouTube to either link you to the video or the actual channel. It's a highlight and like video essay of last Thursday's stream. So if you have a chance, check it out. Subscribe. Um, I'm in a subscriber war with my sister because she has 50-something subs and I only have like seven. So my goal is to beat her and then laugh in her face when she gets home. Granted, I know that's not going to be today, but like one day when she gets home from work and she sees that I have more subs, she's going to be pissed. So we're going to start a sub war with her. Okay, let's see. What do we actually need for the tasks? Oh! Okay, easy clap. We have a lot of hardwood, and we also have a lot of wood. So, easy. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, okay. I don't think we need that many. Hey, Subbody, let's go! I don't advocate for subbody, but let's go. Thank you, Yana. We love our stands. <laughs> Um, but that video, I said it earlier, and Rainy knows, that it's a two and a half hour VOD, and my target was to try and edit it down to a, um, 10 to 15 minute video, and not that it was challenging, it was more so fun, like, the whole editing process, like, writing a script, and also, like, thinking of a concept and a way to edit it down into, like, a cohesive video, it was really fun. Not to say that it's my new passion, but I can see myself actually investing more time and energy into editing in general. This is really fun. Like right now, I'm thinking of what I can do for Thursday's challenge stream. I have an idea, and 
Because with the idea, you also have to think of like what type of commentary you're going to do or like what the final edit will be like. So I have an idea. I'm just trying to like pre-write some jokes or bits that I can do. Like workshop them a little bit because they're a bit like... Not controversial jokes, but like... <laughs> like I gotta think of like a good way to write them, let's say. Yeah, today in game is probably just focusing on getting our cellar set up, and then if we have time, a little bit of mining, because we do need to get that ectoplasm by Sunday. Ah, frick. <laughs> Missed again. <laughs> oh no, come on. I know you can use the joystick to like point where you want to place stuff, but we don't need to do that. I'm a pro gamer, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Because I put new videos sometimes because the edit I can for sure do in a day. I think also changing my stream schedule to only three days a week will allow me to maybe do one video a week, but we're gonna see. I think my issue is going to be thinking of a new idea for a video every week. Because I definitely want my main focus of content to be gaming, but I can see myself branching into like commentary or just chatting if I wanted to. So we're going to see how it goes. I enjoy it for now, but I don't know how I feel in like maybe three months. So we'll see. We shall see. Because my sister, she's into editing as well. That's why she started editing, um, what you call it? Anime clips? <laughs> yeah. Hey, thank you for the follow. Juicy Doodles, that's such a fun name. I honestly love reading people's users because a lot of them are like either really funny or like really memey and they're just great. That that's a fun user. Oh you guys are so cute. Thank you for saying hi to the new chatter or new follow, thank you. You guys are so cute. <laughs> you see? <laughs> You don't feel obligated to chat if you don't want to, it's okay. I appreciate lurkers too. I forgot to drop off my honey, Sag. Oh, I, I wanted to see if I can ferment the honey. Or the mead, rather. Maybe you can? Let's see. Oh, you can! Oh, dude, that's cool. Okay, we gotta save our mead then. Hi Juicy! Do you have a preferred like name? Do you like to be called Juicy or Doodle? Or like if you want me to call you by your real name, I can do that too. Whichever you prefer. Yeah, but Stardew Valley streams are usually pretty chill. Kind of like an anime just chatting vibe. I'm honestly really tired, so I don't know how chatty I will be. You're not fussy. Okay, cool. We like that. Um, I think I'll call you Juicy, because I think that's funny. But also Doodle's really cute, too. I don't know. I don't know. You said you don't care, so I- Well, I might mix it up between the two. Um, but feel free to ask me questions, or like, pox amongst yourselves. Like, that's what chat boxes are for, right? Oh. Yeah, for sure, you have to have like- a course of action, I think, to have a successful channel. Kind of like how on TikTok, people will follow you for your specific niche. But in comparison, like YouTube, you can have like a wider variety of content on your channel. Because I don't want to have too much variety on my YouTube channel. I think I'll probably stick with like game challenges at this point. Because that's personally the type of content I enjoy a lot.
And for a lot of creators, I would rather watch their YouTube channel than their Twitch streams because... Who did I say this to? Oh, I said this to another friend. But like, I'm not gonna sit and watch a speedrunner fail one single trick for five hours. Like, just give me the 30 minute highlight YouTube video, you know? Oh my god, I'm so excited for the new game. Like, when I saw the trailer drop, I was like, shaking in excitement. Exaggerating, but low-key true. Low-key not true. Um, I'm so excited. Not to, like, pressure him to, like, have a release date, but, like, I want it ASAP. <laughs> That's it. Oh I've yet to add any mods to Stardew, and I think it will at some point. Can you mod this? Oh my god, they're just charging him. Can you mod the Switch version of the game, or can you only mod the desktop version? Because I'm playing this on my Switch. I've seen videos of some mods that people have added to their game. I think my favorite mod is like being able to be befriend um, some of the NPC characters. Oh, I hate this stage. Modding the Switch is complicated. I'm probably not going to do it then. <laughs> I'll have to get the desktop version. But I'm also so used to playing with a controller. Like, I don't PC game at all. I will at some point, but... Because I have an Alienware laptop. Which is a gaming laptop, right? But I mainly bought it for just the processing. Because when I'm rendering out, like, a video... Almost, like, less than a minute to render. Which is insane, because on my MacBook... It would take... Rendering the same video would take like 20 minutes for like a one minute clip. And it's like, how can I work with this? So I just saved up for a new laptop. And she's been working very well. <laughs> or I can just get my account banned. Yeah, that'll work too. <laughs> Let's take the easy way out, boys. Yeah, at some point, once I have money, I'll get the desktop version and then download some mods. <clears throat> I've had a couple people come into chat and, like, try and promote their mods. But I'm like, I like to trust new chatters. But I'm also very gullible, so I'm like, are they being nice and, like, actually offering a mod? Or are they just gonna, like, promote a virus? I don't know. Like, I'm always sussed out when I have to, whenever I have to download something new. Because I know on my other laptops, I got viruses. I know I do. But this one, I do not want to ruin her. Like, we're going to treasure this Alienware, take care of her. <laughs> we're not going to mess her up. Oh my god, finally a ghost. The whole reason we are here. So, I assume you play Stardew Valley as well, Juicy, yeah? If you know how to, like, mod the Switch version, then I assume you know how to play. <laughs> Ooh, I might have to look up the website later, because that sounds interesting. I know I said I'd have to save up, but I literally have $100 in my bank account. Like, no cap, like, I'd show screenshots, but, like... It's bad. So, once I get a real job, <laughs> or like, I farm donos or subs, I will buy it and download mods. No. I wish the range of the sword is bigger. I know there's other weapons in the game, but I usually just stick with the sword. Because I don't like the limited range of the dagger, and then the club, it's a bit too heavy. So I can't, like, button mash.
Oh my god, it's 11.50. Fuck me. <laughs> I was not looking at the clock. Oh no. Oh no. Frank. No shot. You're capping. 2,000 hours? No way. Cap copium. Can I get a copium in chat? No shot. No way. Copium. <laughs> no, I believe you, but that's insane. Like, how long have you have you been playing the game then? Because I think I have a couple hundred. I have to look it up later. But sheesh, two thousand. <laughs> My God. Then you must know what you're doing then. <clears throat> I don't think I've met anybody who's played that many hours of the game, so props to you, man. Oh, so you're like an OG player then. That's cool. Because I only, like, I've heard of the game, I've watched playthroughs of the game when it came out, but I only, like, played it, I think, about a year ago. I think I started playing in April of 2021. And when I first got the game, oh my god, it was bad. Because at the time, I was working two jobs, so, like, I'd be gone out of the house for, like, 10-12 hours, and I'd get home at, like, excuse me, 9 or 10, and then I'd play Stardew Valley until, like, one in the morning every night and it was bad i have to look how many hours i have in my first save because like once you beat the comm center to me like the story kind of falls off it's not as fun so like i will just start new saves and then just start over again because out of like Games like this, I like the grinding of the first couple, like, sessions of your gameplay. Because it's a lot more focused on, like, your time management and that type of thing. <clears throat> because I got to year 5 in my first save, and then I got bored. And then that's when I just started, like, getting new saves, and then starting over once I beat the comm center. Kind of like speedrunning, trying to see how fast I could beat it. Or, like, how fast I could, like, romance someone. Like, I know there's more efficient ways I could lay out my farm. But honestly, I like how this looks. <laughs> this section is just trees. That section is a disgrace because when I planted all the seeds, I honestly just needed wood. And I have, like, way too much wood in my inventory now, so I regret planting all those trees. But I will chop them down at some point. I promise you. These two, I need to chop these down as well. Traitor, they bought the JoJo membership. We need to cancel them. <laughs> I've never played a game with the JoJo ending, but I've only seen like clips of it. I will never do a JoJo ending. If I ever do a JoJo ending on stream, cancel me, clip it, and cancel me. We don't stand JoJo. Multiplayer horror stories. <laughs> I wanted to try multiplayer, but like none of my friends have it on the Switch, so kind of sucks how they don't have cross platforming yet. <clears throat> Maybe one day when I download the PC version, it shall happen. It's Thursday, we're to gift on Friday. I need to remember to bring 
the dwarf guy milk. I cannot forget again. Oh, I forgot to drop the honey off again. Badge. Go mining. Cross our fingers, we get that ectoplasm today. I'm sad because we failed the last weekly mission last time. And I think it was to get the prismatic slime. And it just didn't spawn, so that was an L. I don't want to take another L on this mission either, so I'm gonna try and get as much time in the mine as we can. A ghost right there. Easy clap. Imagine we get it on the first ghost. This RNG is in our favor today. <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> Just being too hopeful. Oh, I was so excited the other day because I was watching a Mario Kart stream and they had an they had an emo enable that it was just um you know when you play the game, like if you go down in place values it transitions between what 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 place you're in, so like it'll go from like first to second to third and like all the way down to twelve and that's just the emote. I think it's um Pope in all caps. Yeah, there it is. It's the funniest shit to see in chat. Like, when I saw the emote, oh, I was dying. So, like, I enabled it right away. I also enabled a lot more of the BT to DV emotes and then the Frank emotes. So, if you go to my About section, you can see which ones are enabled. So, have fun with that, guys. Because I've said it before, but my favorite thing about Twitch chat is just, like, emote spam. Like, it's my favorite thing. June 2022? Oh, fuck, I blanked for a second, and I thought we were still in 2021, and I was gonna be like, oh man, another year? But summer? That'd be pretty cool, like, I was honestly expecting next year, but if we get it this year, that'd be pretty pog, like, that'd be amazing. I don't think people realize how much goes into like game design because when I was in school I initially took computer animation and even that aspect of the game like learning how to code and 3d render was difficult on its own like imagine coding like designing graphics all on your own to me that's a lot of work but, oh I thought that was it it's just chords for just like one person to do I don't have to imagine. Well, that's cool. So, going to college for game design, I went to college already for animation. So, like, what do you want to do? I assume, like, you want to make games, but, like, what aspect of game design do you want to, like, special specialize in? Because <clears throat> I think any creative... <gasps> oh, I thought that was it. Just gold. Because I think any cr creative career should be encouraged. Like, especially STEM stuff. So, graphics? Okay. So, do you do art as well? <clears throat> it 
Thank you for clarifying what front end, front end is, because no shot I would have <laughs> known, so thank you. <laughs> That's cool. Do you have a favorite, uh, favorite medium? Like, I haven't drawn in ages, but I think my favorite traditional medium to work with is India ink. Mainly because it's waterproof after it's dry, and also you're able to get so many different tones and grays with it. I need to start drawing again. Like, I'll doodle sometimes, but I haven't, like, sat down and drawn in ages. The front end is what the user sees, and the back end is the coding. Okay. Got it. That's interesting. I learned something today. This is now an educational stream. I think for me, um, because right now I'm doing online college for graphic design. Mainly because graphic design can be applied to any facet of like the entertainment or business industry. Because like every business needs an advertising team, they need a graphics team. But since it's online, there's definitely that sense of disconnect from like your classmates or just your teacher. Like looking back, I should have done gone for in person. But just because like I wanted to work and like earn money while in school, like that's why I chose to go online. But I'm projected to graduate this year at some point, I think. Because <laughs> I've taken classes on and off, so. I think I'm supposed to graduate this year. And like, my current class right now is video editing and audio engineering. So like, it fits into like, what I want to do. Like, just video editing in general. So I'm really enjoying the class I'm in right now. Yeah, because like, the college I'm doing online for is in Florida, and there is, is some online, or some in person, but you can always opt for online, because the professors, they offered online pre-pandemic, so like, they have the whole like, interface and like, curriculum ready for online classes. So like, I didn't have to transition from a traditional to an online classroom, which is actually kind of cool. But like... The most recent project I had to do was editing clips together and like adding like music and text to the video. And the example they had, because I just had to compile shots I found from like a stock website, but the class example, like the in-person class had to actually shoot the shots and like play in like shot oh. directions and stuff. So I was like, oh, that sucks. Like, I wish I could do that. I mean, I can do that on my own, but like being able to like work in a group, like in person, I definitely miss that aspect of the classroom. I say that, but also like, I would be so scared to go to school right now. Like my mom, she works for the school district in our town in elementary. And <laughs> it's not fun. Like, just, like, safety procedures and protocols are not being followed in some instances. And it's frustrating for her to have to deal with that every day. But. Gotta make money, right? It was kind of messed up because they distributed masks to all the workers. And they would like indirectly, but kind of directly tell them to reuse them when the masks were not intended for reuse. Because they gave everyone like 20 masks to last for two months. So implying that you would have to wear it for at least four days for it to last for the two months at the time. But that was when there was a short of a mask, so like it kind of made sense, but also kind of not. Like, it was kind of sus, right? <clears throat> Oh, I forgot to switch! Yeah, because I think my favorite thing about streaming is just learning how to use the software. 
And also just getting used to like consistently having something to do. Because definitely once I stopped working, voluntarily, I wasn't fired or anything. I quit. Okay? <laughs> or I didn't quit. I turned in my two weeks. Like, I was nice about quitting. But after since not working, you lose that consistency. Like, you have to make your own schedule. And it's very hard to, like, stick with it. So definitely streaming on a schedule and also, like, prepping for stream, like, doing tech, tech checks has definitely helped with just staying, like, actively engaged in what I want to do. Because I stopped working last summer, and there was a two-month period to where I just did nothing. Because when I was working, I was doing two jobs, and then I quit one job, and then I worked, like, 70 to 80 hours at the one job. And it was insane. Like, it was not good, not healthy. Like, I was making a decent amount of money, but you shouldn't be working that hard for that much money. You know what I mean? So, like, I just had to stay at home and do nothing because just mentally exhausted after doing that for basically a year. And I think I'm ready to go back to work, but I also don't want to. Work sucks. Like, working for someone else is not fun. I mean, I think everyone feels that way, but... I've always wanted to have my own business, whether it be a service or a product. Because, like, my dad has his own business. I think, like, I just want to be like my dad. I've also wanted to get into, like, fashion design. Like, in kindergarten, in the yearbook, they would ask, like, all the kiddos, what do you want to be when you grow up? And, oh, fuck, it's- <laughs> I'm- I'm forgetting to watch the clock. This is a problem. My biggest gripe with work at the moment is the value of work has diminished greatly over the past decade. I agree. And, like, just also, the importance of, like, workers individually is so overlooked. Because if you didn't have workers in your shop, right, you wouldn't have a shop. Like, you can't have one person running the whole show. That's why I think unions are very important for basically any workplace. I think also with just the concept of capitalism, there's no way to have a business without exploiting your your workers or the service to an extent. <clears throat> so there are pros and cons to capitalism, but you have to live with it for now, I guess. You're probably seeing my inventory and, like, <laughs> cringing at how, like, unorganized some sections are. <laughs> Your entire crew? Oh my god, why would they fire- Like, I don't understand the concept of, like, mass, like, layoffs or firings. Because, like you said, like, it's going to put so much, like, stress and work onto the remaining crew. And also, like, <laughs> it's, it's, like, way too much. Like, you're just going to make more people want to leave. When I was working in food service, I was management, so I did have to um, let some people go. But mainly, it was just for attendance issues. Because the way staffing was... that particular establishment was you would have just enough people working for any given shift so like if someone called out it's a hassle to find someone to cover right which is very frustrating for everyone working inside but i guess this is how you cut back on labor costs when in reality labor costs are barely even 20 percent of the daily profits so i don't know 
It's just how some people like to run the business. It's not a good way, but it is how it is. <clears throat> like, if you can't run your business in a way that is not going to take care of the workers, or is, like, profitable enough to, like, compensate your workers properly, then don't work for those companies. Or just don't have a business, like... People at the top are always gonna make the most money, but... Which... That's just how capitalism is. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, like, you're, you're proving the point where, like, if you lay too many people off, you're just stressing out the entire workforce. It's not feasible. It's not fun for anybody. <laughs> yes, like, the numbers look good, but you're just gonna drive people away. I've considered, like, applying to Target because a bit ago, before, like, at peak pandemic, they were offering incentive wages. And they were offering the same rate I would be getting working management at that food place. And I was considering it, but I was like, eh, <laughs> like I'm fine where I am. And also just like training at a new place is scary because you know you're going to be like under like extreme scrutiny as a new hire. And like as with anybody, you're going to like flub a couple times, mess a few things up. That's normal. Yeah, imagine <laughs> being expected to do poor people's work. Insane. Insane. I think my favorite reality TV show was Undercover Boss, if anybody remembers that one. It was basically like CEOs being undercover new hires at their own like workplaces. And it'd be like a lot of manufacturing or like blue collar jobs, right? And like they'd like have, have interviews with workers and be like, oh yeah, this is how I'm treated, and like it's not cool. And the CEOs, they'd have shots of them crying, like gaining actual empathy supposedly on camera. Like I like to believe that that show actually helped create change in those specific businesses. Okay, I need to bring one of the milks for the dwarf guy because it is Friday. We are not going to ferment it. Oh, I almost sold the milk. <laughs> okay. Let's get to gifting. Yeah, because like when I left my um, workplace, I knew a lot of people were going to leave. But like I went like a month later to pick up my last check because I didn't want to go right away. Mind you, I was like, I want to wait a little bit. And it seemed like no one quit, which was surprising. Because I did so much work. Oh. Rain. It's almost mythical to us. Some of us dwarves- Oh, the amazing wizard. Some of us dwarves live our entire lives without ever experiencing it. That's sad. Here's some milk. Is this what humans like? Oh, you said you wanted milk, man. <clears throat> um... Anyway, so, like, at that workplace, I did, like, the most hours out of everyone. And also, like, the most work around the actual restaurant. Like, I'm surprised no one else left. Eh, whatever. It's, like, water under the bridge at this point.
<laughs> you broke you break out your calculator. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, that's what you mean. Okay, I see. Yeah, I don't think Maru or Sebastian we're good enough friends with yet. I feel like I've finally woken up because my eyes, I'm not struggling to keep them open. <laughs> No, Harvey's not out. <gasps> oh, okay. I didn't know we were good enough friends yet. Harvey looks busy right now. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine. Out of all the people, I didn't think I'd befriend Harvey first. Cause like out of all the romancing, I never go for Harvey. He seems lame. He was boring. I mean, I'm pretty boring too. So like, it makes sense. We'd be a good match. Cutscene time! Okay, George. I want you to take a deep breath for me. Um, turn around, please. George, I'll be honest with you. You need to make some changes in your lifestyle if you want to stay healthy. I'd like you to reduce your sodium intake and try to get some moderate exercise with your arms. <laughs> me with my doctor. <laughs> uh, I know what's best for me. Who do you think you are telling me how to live my life? <laughs> you really just asked the man in the wheelchair to turn you around. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. I wanted to make that joke too. Stop it. <laughs> oh. oh my god. We love chatters. That was a good one. That was a good one. See, we vibe. Okay. I'm your doctor, George. That's who I am. And I went to school for eight years so I could learn how to help people to stay healthy. So I could learn how to help people stay healthy. Oh. I'm sorry, but you shouldn't be here. These checkups are supposed to be private. Not so fast. I'd like to get an, a second opinion from this young lady. Very well. What do you think George should do? <laughs> my body, my choice. Just kidding. I love Asanobi's emotes. Oh, it's still in caps. I'm such a chatter. I should not be typing emotes in chat. Oh, I spelled it wrong! There we go. Has Chud. There we go. Honestly, listen to your doctors, guys. <laughs> Thanks. You see, George? I'm just trying to help you. Fine, I'll do what you say, doctor. Thanks for your help. I appreciate it. <laughs> Man, when was the last time I went to the doctor for a checkup? I need to go in. But, like, I know they'll say I need to exercise more. I have started playing um, the w w Ring Fit Adventure game on the Switch. I, I tried to do it in the morning and evenings, and I did that for maybe three days, but then I tuckered myself out. Like, I was doing too much. And I haven't played it since Thursday. Which is a problem. I need to honestly start playing it again. Because I used to go biking, but now that it's a bit too cold out, it's not fun to go biking.
Yeah, some doctors are sus. Like, I know this is bad, but I think my last checkup was when I was like 12. And that's when you start wearing training bras and stuff, right? And I remember, like, he put the stethoscope, like, under my shirt, like, without asking. And, like, it was weird. It was weird. Because usually, like, the doctors are like, ask, can I, can I touch you here? Or, like, let me grab your leg. Like, they will ask first. Like, I was kind of sussed out. <laughs> it destroys your legs. Honestly, if, I feel like it works on my arms more. Which I don't mind. Because, like, I spend a lot of my days sitting, so it's very refreshing on the days where I do do it. Like, I feel like my legs are more, like... Uh, what's this called? Not stretchy. <laughs> but, like, more mobile. Like, I, I'm able to, like, move them with more ease because I... I think I have issues. Like, anytime, like, I have to bend... Or squat like my knees hurt I think it's also because I'm sitting too much like I have a very sedimentary lifestyle <laughs> but I think just playing with ring fit is really fun like having the like gaining exp is so like satisfying in terms of like I feel like I'm actually working towards something Because I, as like everyone, I think everyone hated gym class in school. I think my least favorite thing about like having gym class, like in the middle of the day, because like, I know the guys would shower, but like it was weird if like the girl showered. Because like the showers are in front of everybody. So like, why would you like shower in front of everyone else? I never understood that. And I remember in... Like, sophomore year, I had PE as my third period, so it'd be the period right before, or it'd be the second period before lunch. So, like, you'd have to sit, and, like, even if you change your clothes, you're still sweaty. Like, I don't understand how it's sanitary at all. Like, I have sensory issues, too, so, like, I can't, like, mentally handle having sweat on me for an extended period of time. So, like, immediately after, like, I exercise, I have to wash up. Like, I, I freak myself out if I don't, like, clean myself. And since, like, gym class is basically in the middle of the day, like, I would just be, like, just agitated the rest of the whole school day because, like, I'd still be sweaty and stuff. Not a good time. God, dude, not a good doctor reading off of someone else's chart. Oh my god, that is not good. That's also like a privacy breach because, like, breach because, like, he was sharing someone else's private information. Oh my god, that's bad. Did you get a new doctor? Please tell me you got a new doctor because this guy seems sus, dude. <clears throat> I mean, also, whenever like a new doctor comes in the room. Or, like, whenever, even if I know the doctor, like, they'll sit down and read off, like, or ask you for your birthday or name, just to clarify. Like, that dude messed up. He skipped some important steps there. Okay, let's see who we gifted. Um... Okay, everyone else might be at the bar at this point. <gasps> Dude, that's some drama. Oh my god. That's like some... <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. Dude, I'm sorry, man. I hope you're okay after that. My goodness. Why are you giving me your garbage? Oh my god, Shane. That we were friends. You're on a waiting list? Okay. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. <laughs> but I'm glad the guy got, like, caught. Oh my goodness. 
nine months in Ma oh, where are you in the states i mean that sounds like american healthcare let's be honest okay oh canada uh oh <laughs> i thought canadian healthcare was supposed to be good or rather it was paid for i guess I was going to be like, that sounds like some Florida man story. <laughs> Let's go chop some trees. Oh yeah, COVID is messed up everything here too. Like, I'm just scared where like, if I need to go to the hospital, like I'm not gonna be able to like, get treated. Like that to me is the scariest thing. Cause I've only had to go to the hospital a few times. One time was like someone else in the family got hurt. One time I went cause I had chest pain. This was all pre-COVID, mind you, so, like, I didn't have to deal with any of the, um, any of those issues. But, like, one time I was having chest pain, and, like, I usually don't, like, I, I think I have heartburn at this point, like, I will consistently have, like, moderate chest pain, but, like, there was one time I was just having, like, really sharp chest pain, and it's like, uh-oh, this is not good, so, like, we went to the hospital, and I was there for... I mean, you get treated right away if you have chest pain, because they're like, oh, fuck, if they have a heart attack, oh, no. So I, I got seen right away. And then the second time I had to go was I was accidentally served glass in my smoothie. <laughs> and <laughs> so I had to go in and get x-rays done. And for that specific one, because since it was like a blended drink, yeah, not a good time. That one was actually scary. Because we were debating whether or not we actually had to go to the ER. <laughs> Accidentally. Okay, story time. I'm not going to say the actual place. Like, I'm not going to say the name. But I got, like, a blended smoothie. And it was a raspberry smoothie. So, like, you know how the seeds are, like, crunchy? So, like, I took a sip and, like, it was really crunchy. I was like, this is weird. Like, maybe the seeds are, like, really hard this time. So, like, I took a few more sips, and I was like, oh, this is not good. So, like, I dump out the drink and, like, look at it, and there's, like, little clear, like, shards at the bottom of the cup. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> um, so, at that point, I'm either, this is, like, plastic or, like, it's glass. Because it didn't, like, like hit me, but when I was, like, biting into the glass pieces, it felt like sand. Like, you know when you get sand in your mouth, it's really gritty? Um, so I was like, oh, this is actually probably glass. So I go back to the place, and I put, like, the glass pieces in a little baggie, along with the cup with the still a lot of glass pieces at the bottom. And I, act, I, I was like, hey, can I talk to the manager? Like, really, like, shy and timid. Because at that point, I was not, like, girl boss Megan yet. I was still, like, really nervous, anxious Megan. Ooh, 16k let's see what actually we sold so like i asked to speak to the manager i showed her the cup and like the baggie of glass and she's like oh my god are you okay no she didn't even say that she opened with like do you need a refund or do you want a refund like she didn't ask if i was okay she didn't ask if i needed medical attention honestly if we fucked up that bad i would be freaking out as a manager right um I was like, no, I, I feel fine. Like, I'm honestly okay. I don't want a refund. I just want to reprint on my receipt. That way, like, if I need it, I have it. Because to me, if someone asks for a refund, um, it shows that they're more likely to be lying. So, like, in my head, I thought, like, if I don't get a refund, then they know I'm telling the truth. Like, I'm not doing this for money. Like, even if it was a $4 drink, like, I'm not that crazy. Um, so... 
we were looking stuff up online and it was saying like, oh yeah, if the glass pieces are that small, like it'll honestly pass through your stools. Like in our heads, like at home, my dad was like, oh, you should be fine. But then we called a uh, urgent care. Cause like urgent care is like the ER, but for like less emergency services, right? So we called urgent care to like see if I can get an x-ray done. And they're like, oh, you need to go to the ER right now because that's really bad. Because what could happen is if you if the glass pieces were big enough, they can like slice your intestinal intestinal linings before they pass, which is not good, not good. Um, <laughs> so we went to the ER. It took me like two hours to get seen. Like they took vitals right away as usual, but it took like two hours to get like a chest scan and then like other scans done. And I was in the ER for six hours, um, because we got there at like six and we didn't leave till midnight. And not a fun time because like the whole time, like I'm sitting in the waiting room, like, because I didn't feel any pain, but like I was anticipating pain. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh no, like, because in my head you think of like all the worst outcomes. Um, so like at the end of the examination, they're like, yeah, there was no like large pieces that showed up in the x-ray so you should be fine <laughs> they're like are you feeling okay i was like honestly no like this is really scary and they're like you know it's fine if you feel like any like stomach pain just come back into the er and i was like okay and it was so funny because um i'm sure like the er nurses like hear some crazy stories and all, all the nurses were like super like funny and like hearted about everything like, I was joking with one of them. Because, like, we were making light of how, like, silly this whole scenario was. Honestly, super nice guy. Um, and they're like, oh, why are you here today? I was like, yeah, I, I eat glass. And they're all like, what? <laughs> um, good times, good times. Um, yeah, so if you taste anything gritty in your food, it might be glass. Or just sand, we don't know. Like, just in general, anytime I eat, I look at every single bite before I, like, eat it. That's primarily because, like, maybe my parents are balding, but their hair is always in my food. Or, like, in the food that they make. Like, guaranteed, there's always going to be some, like, hair in the mac and cheese or whatever. I don't blame it. Oh, yeah. Like, my parents still tease me about, like, checking every bite, but then I'm like... I've literally eaten glass before. I'm like, don't judge me. <laughs> anyway, I think that's like the craziest ER story I have. <clears throat> like, I've never broken a bone. Um, I've sprained an ankle. But I think that's the most like intense bodily harm I've caused to myself. Have I seen Moonstone Island? No. Is it a game? <laughs> I love chatters. This is how I am too. Like, just <laughs> change the topic. You're fine. I'm goofing on you. I love chatters. It is? Okay. Is it like another like game like Stardew? If so, like, I might check it out. <gasps> That's okay. How how did I get this? Stardew Energy Vibes? Okay, I will definitely look that up later. Moonstone Island. Okay. Actually, how did this spawn? I, I guess I haven't gotten a shard in this save. Because I haven't donated one yet, but... How did I get one from a dust sprite? It seems kind of sus. Okay, we have two days left to get this ectoplasm. And we're gonna make the wizard sad again. <laughs> I'm not hitting any of them. So 
since you're studying game design juicy, do you want to make a game like Stardew? Is that like your desired art style? Or do you want to do like a 3D rendered game? Like what kind? VR games? That would be interesting and fun to do. Yeah, I think my favorite games are very story-driven. I'm trying to think. Like, the only games I've played on the PlayStation were, I think... Detroit Becomes Human, and then... Ghost of Tsushima. I think that's the only games I've played on the PlayStation. Very much story-driven games. Or rather, Ghost of Tsushima is more focused on combat, but very story-heavy as well. I think it's because when I was little, I enjoyed reading a lot. Also, I cannot be playing any shooter games. Like, I- <laughs> I'm not good. Like, if I can't even do combat in Stardew, imagine me playing in FPS. Like, I forget sometimes which button is the B button. That's an indicator. I think my favorite game, hands down, has gotta be Mario Kart. I know it's a baby game, but I could play Mario Kart for hours. I like repetitive mechanics in game because then you can learn and like get better at that specific mechanic. Oh my god, I am so hyped for that Mario Kart announcement and the Kirby announcement too. Oh my god, I'm any Nintendo like Mario title, I'm like instantly excited for. Okay, that uh, Moonstone Island game sounds fun. I honestly think I would enjoy that, so I will for sure check that out later off stream. Thank you for the suggestion. Like, I need new games to play. Because I will keep playing the same games over and over again. I think that's just anxiety brain. Kind of like how you'll watch the same shows over and over again because you know what's going to happen. I was gonna be like, I didn't take a single hit! That like never happens in those ambushes. Oh yeah, we for sure need a new Mari Kart. Like, how has it been seven years and we haven't gotten one yet? My sister, she's into like the Nintendo leaks a lot. So like she'll send me links to intentionally like throw me off and give me a false sense of hope. So when she sent me the Mario Kart 9 announcement, I was like, no shot, you're gaslighting me. And she's like, no, actually, this one's real. And then we bet five bucks and I lost five bucks. So Hi! Hi, Cupcake! Thank you for coming into chat. Hope we're doing well today. <clears throat> yeah, just a chill day today. Just chatting, Andy. I'm very tired. I'm honestly- I've been, like, a bit more talkative than I thought I'd be. But 
I'm here. So. Yeah, Nintendo, that's the only thing I don't stand. Like, they don't need that much money. That's the only thing I don't like. It's kind of like you gotta separate the game from the creator, you know? Where's the ladder? There she is. <laughs> I know everyone is really upset about the announcement of the final Animal Crossing update. Which I wasn't different about because at that point I hadn't played Animal Crossing in I think nine months. Which I will play again mm. at some point. Oh my god, come on. I need that essence. Yeah, one more day. Yeah, I agree. Like, that's why, like, Everyone says they want new titles, or like, for example, movies too, they want new stories, new characters, but honestly, not a lot of people are willing to take a quote-unquote risk to see new IP. And they wonder why companies keep promoting like sequels or spin-offs. Anthony's awesome, hi! Thank you for coming into chat. Oh, that's cool! We stand Rainy, we love Rainy here. Nice. Thank you for coming in. Hope you enjoy your stay. I'm not as chaotic as Rainy. I'm a little bit more chill. Unless I'm playing Mario Kart, then I do mauled a little bit. But thank you. That's cool. <clears throat> I think you. I've seen you in her chat a little bit. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that yet. I'm honestly really tired today too, so that's why I'm a bit more chill. The thing I do like about Stardew Valley streams is they're they are a bit more like. Almost like just chatting because when I play this game, the mechanics are very repetitive and you do like the same thing every day in game. So you can just like zone out and play and just ramble all day. <laughs> oh, you gotta be calling up Call of Duty now! <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. That's the only reason why spin offs and remakes are still being made. Because, like, it's guaranteed a success. It sucks that the market demands it, but if that's what the market wants, then they'll keep making it. The only... <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, which spinoffs, like, I have watched. Like, the only thing I'm thinking of is, like, Disney movies. Kind of like how... <laughs> the sequels are always kind of mid, and, like, the animation is not up to par. When compared to like the initial movie. Like the Cinderella sequels, oh my goodness, they were such trash. I think it's also harder to like like those movies because Cinderella as a character was basically not a character in the original story. Like her whole character arc was just being abused and like she had no like substance. It's 10.40, we should be heading home soon. Yeah, exactly. Like, we have to do stuff that will be profitable. I think it also brings up the argument, it's like how... It's hard to make new IP because everyone is going to be critical in, in the sense of... Just like art, every story is derivative off of another story, right? Even if it seems like new IP, like, there's always been similar stories or concepts that have been told. I think my favorite, like, not spin-off, but, like, kind of derivative fairy tale was Hoodwinked. Because just the, because, like, the way they did the shots and, like, the writing, it made it seem more like a reality show than, like, a fairy tale story. So that's why I really like that movie. <clears throat> oh, man, I have a shit ton of iron.
Okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of a few things soon. Sag. Okay, we're just gonna shove everything into our junk box. <laughs> Because I don't know where to put it. I need to build one more crate at some point. Okay, there we go. Uh oh. <laughs> the laugh is so funny. <laughs> yeah, old IP will never understand the struggle. For real. Imagine how hard it is to, like, pitch original stories in, like, a writing room. Oh, the Moonlight Jellies! Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think the most entertaining writing rooms have to be, like, the writing rooms for <laughs> animated movie sequels. <laughs> Like, whoever was in the writing room for the Ice Age sequels, they were just having, like, a heyday. They are just having fun. They are like, dinosaurs? Why not? <laughs> You've had me, I guess. <laughs> nice one, Chatter. <laughs> oh, I gotta harvest these flowers, because it's the last day of the season. I love seeing different chatters vibes because I was very much a chatter as with most anyone before like you started streaming and before that I was a YouTube frog so I had no like grasp of what the whole chat culture is but I know me as a chatter I'm very trolly like if you see me in other streams I'm very like trolly with my messages like I think it's meme I think it's funny to meme and like goof around in chat because for the most part like chat is usually pretty lighthearted this makes you want to play Stardew again? Go for it! Like, how far did you get in your original save, Anthony? Because this is my stream save, but in my personal, I'm on year 5. <clears throat> now, I know when I first got Stardew, it was a game that I would play to just chill out for the day. It's so satisfying hearing the sounds of crops being picked. It sounds like you're scrunching around in the dirt. Okay, we also need to think about what we need for fall. Which I believe we just need to prep any seeds we have on hand and then also make sure we have fertilizer handy as well.
I hate the ambient sounds of the flies because it makes it me think there's a bee. And I hate bees. I got attacked by a swarm of, of bees one time. Story time. We were out hiking and my my dumbass sister. <laughs> Granted, she was like eight and I was like ten, so we weren't the brightest children, okay? We're gonna keep the void egg in here. But she like lifted up a piece of bark from a decaying log. So if anyone has gone in like the forest or is familiar with like just hiking in general, you did not touch anything that is decaying because that is guaranteed to have a nest in it. So she, a little wholesome eight-year-old, like is playing around in this decaying log and like we start hearing buzzing. And we're like, oh shit. So we see like the swarm, like handful of bees like come flying out of the log like gradually. And we're like, uh oh. <laughs> so at that point, there's like a whole swarm of wasps on us. And like we run like back through the trail, back to the car. And my sister, the little shit, like she had no bee stings. Lucky little bastard. I had two. My dad had, I think, four stings all on his head. So that was concerning. And my mom had no stinks. She was lucky as well. Um, and I remember we went to like a McDonald's to use the bathroom to like wash up and like calm down and like get an ice cream cone because we were all sad. And and like on the car right over, like I felt like something like moving in my pants. And like that was weird, right? Because like just feeling something crawling around in like your underwear is like weird, right? And like after we use the bathroom, I see like a bee buzzing around the bathroom stall. And it's just like, oh no. <laughs> so like, I had a bee that got stuck in my pants and just like crawling around and buzzing around my pants. <laughs> Not a good time. Um, it didn't sting me, surprisingly. Because like, if it's a wasp, they can sting as many times as they like. But I only got, I think it got stung on my wrist and then on my arm. But pro tip, don't be touching decaying stuff if you're out hiking. I mean, I think that's pretty straightforward, but if you're a child, I guess you can't grasp that concept. What am I doing? Oh, I was trying to put the sap away, that was it. Okay, so we're gonna go mining. Cross our fingers that we do get the ectoplasm. If not, sad day. And then we get when we get back to the farm, Prep any fall seeds we have. Make sure we have sanitizer in our or sanitizer. Have fertilizer in our inventory. Oh frick, I messed up. <gasps> oh, finally! Oh my god. First ghost of the day. Okay, so we have to give the ectoplasm to the wizard. We can do that a, a bit later. Oh my god, I, I hate when the curse comes up. Oh my god, no! Oh my god, that's the worst. I get so scared of, like, bugs just in general after that, like, a swarm incident. Like, one time, on, like, my favorite pair of pants, there was, like, a moth, like, egg bundle on it, and I just threw it away. I was like, no shot, I'm risking this. But, oh my god, that's horrible. I'm sorry that happened, man. Oh, that's, like, ugh, that's, like, nightmare fuel. I'm sorry. That's either like nightmare fuel or like a gag in a comedy. Do you ever like watch the videos of beekeepers who aren't wearing like any protective equipment and like you just see bees all over them and you're like, how can you do that? Like, how can you mentally do that? You were six? Oh no. I assume you do not like bees at all then, huh? 
We need to cancel your sister for not taking care of the jacket properly. <laughs> Waffles seem burn. I kind of feel the same. Um, my mom, she's really into gardening, so during spring and um, summertime, there's always a boatload of bees because we have like a lot of lavender on our property, and the bees love lavender because they're able to be in blossom for basically like four months. So they keep blossoming, and if you cut them off, they keep blossoming, and the bees love it. <clears throat> um. So like whenever we'd go out to like help my mom in the garden, there'd be like hella bees. But like the honeybees, they don't bother you. It's just the wasps you gotta be scared of. You're chill with spiders? Yeah, I'm kinda chill with spiders. I used to be really scared of bugs in general, but now I'm at the point where like I'm still scared of wasps. Like wasps can go die but like if there's a spider in the house okay i know some people will like take the spider outside but i'm like if it's in my room i don't want it around so like i i think the best method of spider killing <laughs> is to like flick it and then like stomp it because if you just try and like catch it like with a tissue or something i think like it's more likely to run away but like if you flick it and like break his legs a little bit then you're set that sounds really mean but it's in my house i can kill the spider okay those are like if the insect is outside i won't mess with it but if it's in my house no no we do not tolerate spiders oh we also have like carpenter ants every summer they always come up in the house and it's <laughs> it's so scary because, like, my sister and I switched rooms a bit ago. <clears throat> and now the room I'm in is the room that, like, the ants come in to the house from. So, like, during the summer, there was, like, ants in my bed. So, like, I'd wake up in the night to just... <laughs> like, just the feeling of, like, bugs crawling in you or, like, bugs in your sheets. And it was the worst. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. Oh my god, and my grandma, she's in Hawaii, but she used to have a cockroach problem. And it seems like only in Hawaii they had um, flying cockroaches, which are legit the worst. Like 10 times worse than a normal cockroach. Because, like, they're big. They're big ass cockroaches. So you would just be, like, sitting, like, drinking lemonade in the living room and, like, oh, fat. A fat ass cockroach would just like fly in your face. <clears throat> okay, I'm glad we got the ectoplasm because we don't want to disappoint the wizard once again. Okay, 640. So you can maybe chop a few trees and then head back to the property and get ready. Grab our seeds and fertilizer for tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, the start of fall season. <laughs> I think with bugs, if I can't see it, then it bothers me. But like, if I see it like crawling on my arm, I'm fine with it. I think my favorite bugs... I don't know why we're talking about bugs so much. <laughs> but I love beetles. Because, like, the shells are usually, like, a bit more colorful. There's a lot of, like, iridescent ones. They're just nice to look at. 
Like, I have some pretty cool pictures of, like, it was this lime green beetle. It looked a bit like a ladybug, but, like, it was fatter, and it had, like, orange-white spots on it. Apparently, it was a stink bug, but it looked a lot more like a ladybug. And I remember, like, I just took pictures of it, like, just crawling on my nails. And my mom, because she was working in the garden, and I was supposed to be helping her, and she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just looking at this bug. <laughs> Just ADD brain. Because in the garden, we don't use any pesticides. So my mom is like, if you see any bugs, just kill them. I'm like, okay. So after, <laughs> after I took the picture, she made me kill the bug. Because it was a stink bug, so like, it'll eat the like cabbage and stuff. It was sad. I was like, I like this beetle. It's 9.30. I have just enough time to get ready. Oh, it's the dance tonight as well. Oh, frick. Oh no. I totally blanked. Okay. So let's try and drop off everything and then head into town. We have fertilizer, we have pumpkins, wall seeds. I kind of want to save my rare seeds for the greenhouse, so we're going to hold on to those. And then sunflowers. <coughs> okay, let's put everything in our junk box. And then run to town. <laughs> yeah, I would drink my coffee, but I don't want to waste it. Also, drinking coffee before bed is not good for you. For new. I still think it's funny how they carry items like this. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> okay. I just wish they would change up the dialogue for the cutscenes every year. <laughs> the skeptic, as always. That's a heavy load of people for an ancient wooden dock. I'll stay over here near the beach. That'd be me. I get so scared, like, going on, like, docks like these sometimes. Can't believe summer's over. I feel like it just started. I should've brought my camera. I always forget. But lol, same. There's so many times where, like, I feel like I should bring my Sony. Like, especially when I went for my bike rides. But I'm so scared that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna break it. Or, like, if you drop it and, like, Crack the lens, you're fucked. Like, it's dead. Uh, let's see. Life is so easy for a jellyfish, just letting the waves carry you onward forever. Yeah, that's a bit morbid. I can't talk to him? What? Okay. Don't tell Gus, but I'm a little disappointed there's no buffet tonight. Well, it's kind of late. So. These are all decorative, so I'm not gonna- I'm gonna hold off on these for now. 
These candles are romantic, aren't they? Okay. You have a husband. <laughs> like, I'm good. I'm no home record. <clears throat> I just want to see the rare green jelly. Oh, I stumbled there. I'm sorry. I try. I thought I saw something moving in there. Something big. Something dark. Edgy as always. <laughs> Such a rare and exciting thing. I love Abigail. I simped for her first. But we're going for Leia in the save, I believe. I wonder if they're poisonous. <laughs> I mean, just don't eat them. Should be fine. The jellies were here a year ago, and they'll be back again a year from now. Nature is amazing. I hope there are babies this year. She's so cute. Oh my god, children are adorable. Good evening. The moonlight jellies are close. I already see one glowing in the distance. Once we launch the candle boat, they'll come up to the docks and say hello. Most night fish would be scared of the light. These are strange ones. Good evening. Hope you can find some time to relax before the harvest season. I feel like Ken should have had a bit more, like, story to him. He seems kind of lame. There! I just saw something glowing. Oh. It's gone. Poor Jody, man. <laughs> Look out there. At the endless sea, deep underwater. All kinds of life forms are moving around in the dark. Eerie, isn't it? Emily is, like, the weird girl. Like, you don't know if you should be nice or mean to her. <clears throat> I wore my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. Me whenever I dress up. <laughs> if we keep polluting the oceans, the jellies will surely go extinct. It's already in the process of happening. It sounds like a typical <laughs> liberal artist. Or writer. Forgot he likes poems. What do you think? Should I launch the boat now? Go for it. You guys see it? It almost looks more like a plant than a jellyfish. Or like a tense cruel. The glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on towards the great unknown. I think that is my favorite cutscene out of all like the holiday events. Because like it's so calm, it's so peaceful, you know. Okay, so we have our seeds ready, we have our fertilizer ready, I think we can call it a day. When we wake up, it's going to be fall. Final harvest of the year.
And that is where we're going to end for today. Um, thank you to anybody who came into stream today. We had a few chatters today. We had, let's see. Hey, thank you, Anthony, for the follow. We hit the follow goal. Let's go. I love that banner that pops up. It's so cool. Thank you. Nice. Um, back to what I was saying. Thank you, Anthony, for the follow. Um, we had Kitty Lee lurking. We had Rainy D Games in chat. We had Yana in chat. We had a new follow and chatter. Imagine juicy doodles. And we also had Anthony's awesome <laughs> in chat as well. Thank you for coming in and following. And we also had Cupcake too. A lot of chatters today. Um, yeah, thank you to anyone who came in, chatted, followed, lurked. I appreciate everyone. Um, I will be back again tomorrow, same time, 11 a.m. PST with Mario Kart. I definitely like the schedule I had last week, which was Stardew Tuesday, online lobbies on Wednesday, and then challenge on Thursday. So I think we're going to stick with that for now. Do you raid out? You can't do raids if you're not affiliate, I don't think. <clears throat> but I'll have to look into that. Um, I don't know anybody who's live right now, so I think I won't. You can? Ooh, um, in the future, I'll consider doing raids. But, like, since I don't have, like, mods yet, I kind of want to hold off before I start raiding. Because, like, the whole raid culture in general is kind of, like, iffy. So I'm, I'm going to hold off. But thank you for the suggestion, Anthony. Um, anyway, if you want to see me a bit more of me offline, you can do exclamation socials and chat. Or check out the about page on my channel. It'll link you to all my other socials. And also... I do have that new YouTube channel out. So you can also do exclamation YouTube or exclamation vid in chat to show you other stuff I'm making. So yeah, it's a new channel. <laughs> nice stream. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Yeah, thank you for coming in today, Yana. I see. Yeah, I enabled so many more emotes. So have fun with that, Yana. I know you're a chatter. I know you're an emote person too. So have fun with those. Um. Yeah, that is all. I am planning, like, a just chatting for Valentine's, so I'm working on props for that. So, about a month to go for that, so we'll see. Okay, like I said, I'll be back again tomorrow at 11 PST with Mario Kart. That'll be fun. I know I'm a bit more hyped for that. Um, yeah. Okay, hope everyone has a great day. Bye.